you live. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, you know, it's it's a real shame with all the work Mike and I put in, and all the money we put in to have a technician and a cameraman, that he just doesn't have his shit together. After all this time, he uh, was dilly dallying. He came here. What time did he get here? Like 6:56. Like the last minute. Maybe. Just 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 cruising in here with his Hawaiian shirt on, probably stoned out of his mind. You know, just not a care in the world. Meanwhile, it's 7.01, it's 7.02, it's 7.03. We're waiting to start the show. Now we're using my phone, my phone, which has all my notes for tonight, all my bits, all my last week's uh, comments, Oof. all my stuff is on my phone. How are we going to do this? We're, we're just going to have to wing it because we're going to have to, we need to hire a new technician. All right, so how do I you share You think Jamie would wall? pull this shit on the Joe Rogan show? How do I share to your wall? So you do it. Did you already put right, it on so yours? I'm going to talk. Yeah, I put it on mine. Mine. So my people are watching. Um, again, we apologize for the technical difficulty. We feel that Mark Zuckerberg is behind this somehow. Mm -hmm. And we've been getting just too popular. Too popular. And um, they want us to pay for advertising and stuff like that. So I think it's a like strong arm. Strong arm enough. But watch. Check out my shit. Trying to figure out Be how to do bad. it. I can't figure out how to do it. That's all right. If you guys are watching, you know how to share this live stream to Brad Pierce page. Do please do. Yeah. Uh, Tom, you have your phone. Share it. Can you share it to my to the Brad Pierce page yes. and to the Golden Mike page? Yes. Can you make you you know earn your money? You know what I mean? What are we paying you for? But I, we should already be into the comments from last week. You know. That's all right. We had some good comments. We did, and now I can't read them because they're on my phone. <laughs> I know one person. All right. Well, one person yeah. did say. Um, Oh, John Allen had said that they should do they should do a drinking game where every time they get up and leave you by yourself, they drink. Which you do, like a million times. I do. I'm trying to learn from that, so I actually have a packed cooler, <laughs> so I don't have to get up. I was wondering. I was saying, wow, he's he's a. I was noticed that you're yeah. packing. I'm like, he never packs a cooler, but that's why from a complaint. I had songs. See, people put that just stuff in the suggestion box. Yeah. We take it. We take it seriously. Yeah, we do. There, there was, um, uh, I wanted to announce last week's prize winner. So last week we were giving away a koozie, which I'm actually going to grab one of those in a minute. And a funny <laughs> for funds pen, so I will have to get, have to get up. up. <laughs> so we'll, um, and the winner, uh, I swear we do this at random. We pick out of a hat, we put the numbers. But Katie Shaughnessy, Shaughnessy won again. Now she had won the previous week. She won two weeks in a row. I no. promise it's not rigged. It's not rigged. We, um, Brad is not having an affair with Katie. <laughs> no, but, I'm having an affair with Bill, <laughs> her husband. Yes, he's a sexy guy. So, but again, it just shows our fairness. If you share it, we put your name in the hat, and every week, what happens is, Brad gets all the numbers. Tells yeah. He shoots me a text and says, "Pick a number, one to whatever," and I pick a number, and he says. Katie won again. So you won again. So, you won the koozie and the pen. She keeps sharing. And now uh, her and her husband are going to the show Sunday. We're doing oh, a sold I didn't know out. That. We're doing a sold out show. Sold out. The, Thirst, the Thirsty Beaver Smithfield. We will bring you a prize uh, that day. But tonight, we're, I know you're sad. You're thinking, well, I really wanted that koozie. You're in luck because tonight we're giving out another one. I'm going to grab it right now for you to <laughs> Which see. Which means you're getting up. Yes. Drinking, I'm up. Drink, drink, drinking game. Drinking game. All right, so he's going in there to get the prize for this week. Um, but, yeah, definitely share the show. We're going to get into the content now. We'll talk about our show at the Thirsty Beaver this Sunday night. is sold out. So if you've been wanting to get tickets, I'm sorry. You can't wait them out. When we say we got a show, get on the tickets because it sells out all the time. It's going to be Brad, me, and Bill Simus. It's amazing. It's, um, it's going to be at the Thirsty Beaver in Smithfield. If you want to put your name on the waiting list and if somebody pulls out the last second because they got COVID or whatever, we'll give you the thing. So more koozies. So tonight, <laughs> uh, share the page for Chancey with a koozie and one of Mike Murray's pens, which I believe are in his car. But anyways, so share the show for your chance to win. Uh, comments, man, I, th there was, oh, Vin Jack had a great comment. Oh, I know, he was making fun of you for drinking uh, feminine beverages. He said, you already have the tits, you might as well drink the seltzers. He said that? I remembered that. That's off memory, Vin Jack, because he my used, phone is being used, used to the film. the word tits and not breasts? It might have been boobs. I don't know. <laughs> I noticed something really strange. I'm going to put you to the test right now. Okay. Tom, 
our technician. Right, who will be fired. Really so. weird, I just saw this. Okay. And so, Tom, I want you to put that phone down for one second. And just hold your hands up like this. What? Well, you realize the viewers can't see his hands. He should show the Wait, viewers. No, that hand is heavier than that hand. On he the, shaves one on of his hands. Yeah, something's happening with his he hands. He shaves one of his hands. <laughs> he should show the viewers. You don't want to show he's the like viewers. Go. He's like gorillas in the mist. So one of his hands. Tom, what, why is that? Do you have more hair on one hand? Yeah. Is it, do you, I, don't, I don't know. Do you rub one hand you. more than the other? Where, I think it's weird that Mike's staring at his hands all the time. I'm not exaggerating. That is that one heavier than this one? I don't, no, they I don't look see the difference. Really Never mind. I don't know why Mike must is have been staring the at Tom's hands. This is what happens when I don't have my notes. We just have to riff about it's Tom's I have hands. Such nice lips that he had to find something. Yeah, yeah. Not weird, you don't have weird lips like <laughs> me apparently. Uh, all right. So hey, why don't you do a segment? Oh, actually, you know what? No, we got to do cold it. beverages. Now, I got in a lot of trouble last week. Why is that? Because, you, as you know, I don't like to drink. I don't like to drink. Mm -hmm. And because I can taste the alcohol. Right. But last week, we ended up finding what liquor beverage you like? that I actually like. And, and Mike got drunk. So if you didn't watch last week's episode, you probably should go back and watch that because it's worth it. I got drunk. And not only after the show, we did a couple shots in the, right. in the kitchen to, and to everything. Celebrate. And I ended up have to getting a ride home. And From I had, me. <laughs> I had to Uber back to my car the next day. Right. Which was, um, but my wife was pissed because for 29 years, she's been trying to get me drunk. And mm -hmm. I won't touch the drinks because I could taste that liquor. And, um. So she's mad. She actually sent something. Oh, you know, she's jealous. She's jealous. I drank with you guys. Here's the thing, Kathy. You're going to buy Mighty Swells. Uh, Mighty Swells Seltzers. He loves Mighty Swells. That's the secret. <laughs> that is the secret. Peach flavor is the best. It's Kathy, the best. if it makes you feel any better, we're still going to do sports news tonight. Your favorite <laughs> segment. Even without my notes, I'm doing it. Unbelievable. So, look, I, I didn't get Mighty Swells. I didn't want to overdo it and kill you. You've had enough health health problems. I don't want to be, make you become an alcoholic. So <laughs> I, I, love didn't get how you, well. I love how you had it because you got in trouble from your wife from calling me fat all the time. I've gotten but in trouble, you somehow, yeah. somehow <laughs> bring it up. <laughs> A couple goes, people. I know you got some health problems. It might be <laughs> maybe like weight distribution. <laughs> they seen everything but. Maybe Mike. I was referring to your bad ears. I didn't say anything about your ears. I just said health. It's a general term. <laughs> but, but we all know yeah. what you meant. Several people have criticized me that, for making fun of Mike for being fat too much. Anyways, but so um, they're not as fun as Mighty Swells, but they're both uh, the same flavor. Black cherry, Trulies and White Claws, which I would argue are the two most popular seltzers, even though Mighty Swells are really? better. Yeah. Tom, would you verify that? Oh, he's not even listening. <laughs> he never listens. We really need to we hire him. We ask him guy. all the time. Not even listen. He used to at least say, I don't know. He's too busy staring now he doesn't at his even knuckles. listen. His every knuckles. He's, he's admiring his beautiful hands. Um, <laughs> what I was saying, Tom. That's a heavy ass. What I was saying is, would you agree with me that these are probably the two most popular brands of seltzers? Okay, sure. thank you. That's all I wanted to say. Go back okay. to looking at your hands. <laughs> so tonight, uh, Mike is going to tell so us you. which one he thinks tastes better. There you go. All right, so let's try Truly Fist. Well, I'll try it both doesn't of them. It doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Definitely can taste the black cherry. Okay, well, that's a good thing. This has way more flavor. Which does? The Truly. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean you like it better. Does that well, mean you like it no, better? No, it does because okay. I can taste more black cherry. This tastes watered down. Ah, so, so Truly is... for the win, ladies and gentlemen. According to Mike Murray, in my personal opinion, I don't and like believe either. Believe it or not, that's not that bad. I would drink that. Well, good. Because I won't it's drink a waste this because I'm already, I'm already biased towards it. Not biased towards it because I feel it has a watered down taste. All right, White Claw, I'm sorry. You have lost the taste test of the evening and that is my segment i would get that i would buy go. that you like that one i do so what we've learned the last couple weeks is you really like celsius that's i do thing. i guess i am but probably not as much as a mighty swell no the mighty swells out of shit. all right so <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're gonna get right into it brad right i like how we say we'll go right into it even though it's been 17 minutes because we started the show late because of right. somebody all right what do you want to hear first you want to hear trivia or Stupid strange facts, facts? 
Strange facts. facts. Here we go. All right. I should have took my glasses. <laughs> All right, Brad. Did you know? Mm -hmm. Did you know, Brad, it's that you were actually going to be taller in the morning than the, towards the end of the day? So every day you wake up, you're taller than you're, every night you're when you go to bed. You're always taller. You're not taller than you were the day before. You are just taller in the morning than you are at night. Did you know that? I did not know that. And, and the reason being... Because at the end of the day, you're so drained from the realities of 2020 <laughs> that you start slouching in depression. So you're like, by the end of the day, in an average day in 2020, you're kind of like this... Like you're just ready to give up, and I just fall face first into my bed like this. <laughs> but in the morning, I wake up and I'm like, "Oh, what year is it?" I'm like, "Stand up." I'm like, "Oh, fresh day." And then by the end of the day, I'm dragged right back down into a slouching position. You are not that far off. I'm pretty smart. <laughs> you are not that far off. You actually, what happens is in the morning, you you wake up, you're taller because, like, and then during the course of the day, your spine starts compressing. Okay. It makes sense. It's, right. it's it's all about gravity. Right. It's all about gravity, and it's a true thing. This so is if a you measure, if you w measured yourself, like so, let's say I went to the doctor's tomorrow morning, I had an appointment for a physical. I would be like five ten, mm -hmm. all right. But if my physical was in the afternoon, like five o'clock, it, I would be my five, regular three. height five six. Okay. <laughs> okay. All, all right. right. Let's keep them going. All right. Did you know, Brad? All right. Hmm. Did you know, Brad, that you could produce, you, anybody, Tom, me, produce enough saliva to fill two bathtubs a year? So if you're looking to save on water, look, everybody's hot. Tough, it's a tough time financially for everybody. Yeah, don't spit. Just spit in the tub. Yeah, if you want your water You need another to be tub, reduced. though. Yes, get, get two it's gonna tubs. It's going to be a nasty bath. Get two tubs, fill that's, them with your that's spit. Crazy that's crazy, disgusting. Though. I got a little nauseous just saying that. That's it's crazy. Gross. All right. What do you know about blood vessels, Brad? A ton. <laughs> I'm a vampire. All right. But, but blood vessels, you know, they're very small. You see them if you yeah, see them. Common would like, know. I don't, yeah, know they, they wanted, I don't know if she would know this, though. I she doesn't watch it, the show. Otherwise, we'd ask Yeah, she it. don't okay. care. Kathy don't care. Nobody no. cares. No. Apparently, nobody else cares either. Yeah. But really Tom care. obviously doesn't care. Did you know that um, people have small blood vessels, all right? The networking is amazingly long. If they were laid out, like so if you took a blood cell, now when they're, they're all compacted and they're going, if you took a blood cell and laid it out and put it right on the table, a single right. blood cell, okay. then you take another blood cell, put it next to it. Right. If you take from one body, if I go from your body, it would be... It sounds crazy, people, but 60,000 miles. You can circle the globe with one person's blood vessels side by side. Sounds impossible, right? Sounds it does like it sound doesn't. Impossible. But that should just make your mind blow up. My mind just exploded. It, so, it's crazy, and it's a true fact. And if you're looking to save money on traveling <laughs> and you want to get to the other side of the planet. Like my vest, my blood vessels have been to like San Juan. Just travel <laughs> with your blood vessels. I don't know if it doesn't even make any sense. Tom, make yourself useful. See if you can share this feed on the quarantine karaoke page because Ooh. one week somebody did that early on and that was one of our most viewed episodes oh. it's called quarantine yes, karaoke you. get on that since yes, i don't have definitely, my phone definitely definitely make uh, yourself useful while you're sitting there late. speaking of travel I speaking of travel before I try it now i mentioned this to you before nobody's really going anywhere they're doing all this staycation things they're hanging out but believe it or not, Brad, I was re listening to a story the other day. People have more money now because they haven't been traveling. They haven't well, because the government's dinner. giving us all their money. <laughs> the so, government, I mean, the country's economy is at about negative eight bazillion dollars, but we have money because we're sitting at home collecting. So once all these lockdowns start relaxing, mm -hmm. what's going to happen is people, I read a story the other day, people actually have like 7% more funds mm -hmm. in reserve than they did back in February. Right. That's a fact. Right. Now, people, when you think about traveling, what's probably the scariest travel destination that you would probably do would be a cruise. Cruise, yeah. A cruise, right? Mm -hmm. Now, think about this for a second. Cruises actually can't even do any cruises before September. They, I don't even think they can take any bookings. Right. And who the hell is going to book it anyways? But here's my tip to you. This is my advice from the Mike and Brad show. 
Book a cruise. Book a cruise for like spring. Because here's why. It'll be $5. I'm telling Yes! Not only is it going to be $5 to go for a 10, two-week vacation on a cruise. But think about this, people. The cruise people are not stupid. That's going to be the cleanest ship on earth. Mm -hmm. The food is going to be phenomenal. You smell the nothing service, but bleach. Yeah, the service is going to be phenomenal. Why? Because, because they hurting. know everybody on that ship is going to be social media and how all the good time they have and how great everything is because they need to do that to get people to come back. So I say book your cruise. Worst case, worst case scenario, they postpone the cruise or give you your money back. I book hate. that cruise, get that deal, go on it in the spring, but um, don't do it one with the, all the old people. Do it like a do it like a single cruise. Do the Gronk a, a swing do, cruise. Do the Gronk cruise. <laughs> do the Gronk cruise if you're gonna do one. Yeah, well, for the love of God, don't do the Disney cruise because you might run into Carlos Sperino. Yes, he, might he had be a good on quote. Disney. He had a good quote, but I don't remember it. And we can't look at my phone. So, um, I, uh, Carlos, I just, if you're listening, just put the quote in there. And Tom, our technician, who still hasn't paid attention to anything. Yeah, he might so read it. I don't definitely, know. yeah. If, uh, if, he sees, if you see Carl's busy. quote, please let us know. Tom's playing Tetris. I personally disagree with Mike because even pre-COVID, uh, I've never been on a cruise. I never would oh, wait, go wait, on wait, a you're cruise. You're speaking for yourself because yes. you, have, you, you have that pussy thing where you don't like being on boats. Yeah, I have that pussy thing called being seasick and not wanting to be seasick. crammed with a bunch of disgusting human beings in tiny little rooms <laughs> and smelling them all day and eating at disgusting buffets where everyone's just shoving their fat, greasy fingers into my food. That's the only thing and that's going to happen. I just don't want to, I don't like being restricted. I don't like, the, the ocean freaks me out. I get seasick. And I, I like to be able, if I travel, I want to be able to go wherever I can go. I don't want to have, oh, you can go to the pool or, or you can eat a carrot. Or you can whatever, like play ping pong, and those are the only three options. I don't like that. I want to have freedom. Have you, have like you be ever free. been on a cruise? No, I never it's would greatest, go. It's, it really is the greatest. I would vacation. be miserable. I on went a when I'm the only one I went on was our honeymoon. Um, they had boats back then, and it was awesome. We had a great time. And it was the May, it was the Mayflower. He went on. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, you, are you done with the stupid oh, facts? That was a stupid fact. So go on to your thing. That's the first time I got you to call it stupid facts. I know. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do I have for segments? Uh, this is going to be interesting without my notes. Well, let's do Mike's favorite part of the show, sports news. For those of you who don't know, the Bruins won their first series. Oh, they they are did? on series two. Oh, all right. the Series is tied one to one. They lost, sadly, in overtime last night. And you can see them play for the tiebreaker tonight, right after this show. How exciting. Also in sports news, in previous episodes, several times we have mentioned Mike Tyson will be fighting Roy Jones Jr. When? For those of you who don't know, it was scheduled for September. It has been pushed back to November. Hmm. So as if these guys weren't old enough, they're about to be a little bit older than they were going to be in the original match. And that concludes sports news, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you enjoyed that, Kathy Murray. That was for Kathy. Uh, that was for Kathy. All right. Let's talk about, let's go right to trivia. How's it sound, Tom? Did you? Is it sound okay? I'm worried about the mic. And, and what about Carl? Did he give us a quote from um, on the comment yet? Carl said the Disney cruise is amazing. <laughs> Carl <laughs> said the Disney right cruise now. is amazing. <laughs> he said. He also said that as the show goes on, your viewership looks like the NASA countdown clock. <laughs> That's the quote from last week I was going to read. That's a good quote. He said it looks like the what? That NASA countdown John clock because we just keep losing people. It keeps going down. Oh, there was another one. Someone had a question from last week. God, I can't remember who it was. But it was cool because the comments are usually just people insulting the show, which is fine. We deserve it. But there was actually a cool question. I, I wish for the life of me I could remember who said it. But it was a good question, so we're going to answer it. For you, as promised, I told you we'd, we'd answer the question on this episode. They asked both of us what we think is the most disgusting fruit. I thought that was a great question. That I, is I a great question. I wish I could remember who asked it. Not only is it a great question, what we think is the most disgusting, we'll take that step further. We, if we'll get my most disgusting fruit, mm -hmm. and you get your most disgusting, and we'll have a taste test. Well, I mean, we obviously we can't. 
pull the fruit out of thin, thin air right now. But not right now. Future. So yeah, exactly. Okay. So next week, okay. um, we'll we'll figure out during this course of the show. We'll try yeah. to think of what most. I mean, I, I right off, off the top, of your right head, off the top of my head, I say grapefruit. That's why I would say right off the top. Grapefruit's of my head. awesome. It's disgusting. It's I love very, grapefruit. It's gross. Um, but, uh, did you see? Just kicked the can. This guy is just a mess right. tonight. He's a mess. You see him kick the camera? What's up with that? I, man? He's a mess. Anyways, grapefruit comes to mind. This is why you are waiting to down. Have you ever heard Gary Goldman's quote? I mean, a bit about grapefruit. It is hilarious. I highly recommend it. When you're not watching this amazing show. Gary Goldman does a great bit about grapefruit. I'm going to send that to you. What fruit comes to your mind right off the bat is disgusting. Not that you've ever eaten fruit, but pretend you did. <laughs> there you go. A roundabout way of saying I'm fat. At least I'm being a little more subtle about I it. I actually this love fruits. So it's a really well, hard right. question. Well, that's, me. hey, look, it's the a, world's full of I don't, I, I, I don't like grapes. Is that weird? Because of the texture. Yeah, that's very, well, you mean the texture in general or when they go bad? Because when they go bad, they're disgusting. No, the texture, texture in general, I just. I I'm, I'm really won't eat a grape unless, you know, there was nothing else to eat. Okay, so... I would totally dis... So, so grape, you would say grape is worse, and I would say grapefruit is worse? Is that the case right grapefruit now? Grapefruit is awesome. I, I could eat grapefruit, it's like, disgusting. all day long. That's really Actually, good. You probably the, should do that. That's probably a good move. Yeah. Yes. All right, this trivia question... It's coming in from Nellie D. Olivia. Olivia. Oh, I, I, I don't know how quote. to say her name. Did she say something? I just, another quote popped in my head. I, I, I comment from last and week. And was because, it from her? No. Oh, uh, she, she, how do you say that name right there? D. Olivia. I can't Oliveria. Never say her name. Oliveria? I just know her as Nellie. Nellie uh, D. Oliveria. D. Oliveria and Morgan. Yeah. D., uh, whatever. Nelly, hi we Nelly. Mean so she, Nelly is a diehard Dolphins fan. She watches the show oh, every week, awful. so be nice. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, I know, I know. And every year we go back and forth and everything like that. But she she um, brought up something, and I said, you know what? That would make a good trivia question. Okay. If, okay. Do you want me to, Tom? Do you want me to figure out that light situation? Because no, really no, we're good. Me. We're good. No, you get really like weirded out about a lot of random shit during. Did you notice that? Yeah. It's, it's, is it too show. dark? Can you see us? No, just focus on the show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, she's a big Miami fan. So, this is a question for you, um, Nelly, too. Not only Brad, but... Ray Finkel. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Close. But did you know, Brad, they actually had a real dolphin behind the goalposts. So, when... In Snowflake. Like, I think it was like 60... Let's just say, um, I'm just going to throw numbers out there. 1966 to 1967. They had a real live dolphin that was in the tank. Right. So when they would kick a field goal, the whole concept was that that ball would go in the goal, goal post and the dolphin would come up and kick the ball back out. Okay. Um, what was Which the would dolphin, negate the three points. That go dolphin's ahead. name. Snowflake. <laughs> now, you're wrong. Because oh, you know why I said Snowflake? Snowflake is from East Ventura. Yeah. But, yeah, Which I, is the only thing good the Dolphins ever produced. Actually, that Dolphin that was only there for a couple of seasons was named as Flipper. They call him Flipper. Exactly, Flipper. Flipper. Now, Flipper. Faster than light. It was actually Flipper because now Flipper, there was like five Flippers. Just like Lassie. There was like five Flippers. I was going to say, I bet the Dolphins get sued for using that name. And that's why they <laughs> suck all these years because they lost all their budget from the Flipper dispute. Crazy, huh? All right, move. so thank you for Nelly for sending that, and um, the Dolphins suck, by the way. Oh, Vinny Jack's a huge Dolphin. Oh, fan. he has a lot of problems. Yeah, he's a, yeah. So, all right, Vinny Jack guessed uh, Olaf. He what? He guessed know. Olaf. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Brad. Did, Brad, this is a trivia question. Like Seeing that we're on the um trivia portion. Sea life. Do seagulls drink seawater? Yes or no? Do seagulls well, drink seawater? My, yes or no? My instinct would be no, but I feel like this is a trick question. But whatever, I'm gonna do, I'm <laughs> gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Do seagulls drink seawater? Yes, they do. That's Brad. disgusting. See, I felt like it was a trick question. That's why they're so perturbed all the time. They're always pissed off at the beach because that's why I don't like to go to the beach. I'd be in a bad mood too. You're fighting with seagulls. You're fighting with Constantly. sand. 
It's hot. It, I'm yeah. miserable. I'm just miserable yeah. at the beach. But if you give me like a tent and it can be in there, I'll people watch. I'll go there every day. Right. All right. Or you could just stay in your home and watch Baywatch. <laughs> All right. Charlie Brown. You a big fan of Charlie Brown? No. All right. Charlie Brown. What is Charlie Brown's sister's name? What is Charlie Brown's sister's name? Larry. <laughs> Lu uh, no, I was going to say Lucy, but that's somebody else on the show, I think. That's correct. How about, uh, I'm going to go Betsy. That just pulled that out of thin air. Yeah. Betsy. It's not Betsy. It's Sally. Oh. Um, I, I wouldn't even guess that either. I'm one of my 0 for 3 right now. You are 0 for, no, 0 for 3. Yes, that's correct. I'm pretty bad at okay, this. Okay, this one you should get. Okay, hit me. This is one of my favorites. How many, Brad? How many secret herbs and spices are in KFC? How many secret herbs and spices are in KFC? <laughs> you know what's interesting? My brain does the weirdest shit. Literally two numbers popped in my head. And they're so far apart. My first number was 67. <laughs> and the other one was 12. That would keep... That would keep that would, where'd you get 60 something? <laughs> That's like the most flavorful chicken. They just pour every fucking thing like, they can find. I'm like, I, 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 sign I, 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 me I, up. I'm going to go with my second guess because 67 seems a bit much. Hey! Oh, no now we just going to keep moving. There will be light. I'm going to go with 12 in honor of Tom Brady. Very, very close, Brad. 11 is the number. Double down. But Shit. 12 would make it elite. Bring it up to the next level. Right. Maybe oh, if they right. get their shit together, they could get 12. All right. All right. Um, this next one's coming in from my buddy, Mike Master Stefano. Mike Master Stefano, a good name. friend of mine. And you should get this because you're a superhero fan. I am. I... What's the matter? It's, it's cutting their lawn at 8 o'clock at night. Take a, you had all day. Someone's yeah, cutting their lawn, people. See, you see, here's what happens, right? You had all day to cut. Do they know who we are? Obviously not. Anyways. I don't think anybody can hear it anyways. Nobody's listening. No. But Mike Not Master Stefano oh. wants Brad to see if Brad knows mm -hmm. how far is the Bat Cave from Gotham City. Look, I, I am a nerd and I like superheroes. Are you fucking you should you know think I'm this measuring one. where a fictional city is from a fictional bat cave. They must, How would anybody know the distance? I thought this was going to be a question I could get. Clearly, clearly it's been mentioned in the show. What show? The set, there's a lot of different... You act like this is the show called Batman. There was mm -hmm. in like the 70s that cheesy Batman show. There's been a million movies. I'd seen all of them a million times. I don't remember them ever saying... I don't remember Christian Bale being like, I'm going to now drive. I'm going to now drive. <laughs> 11 and a half miles to the back game. I've never... Pretty close. <laughs> I've never heard that ever. And then the Michael Keaton, when I grew up on that, he never said, Oh, Alfred, I gotta take the car out approximately six and a half miles to Gotham City. Like, wh who the, when the hell is that ever said? And then when he goes back, I'm gonna we, guess. we argue about this all the time. I'm gonna guess 10. It's 14. 14 miles. Well, anyways... But you talk about all these people that have been doing Batman and everything, and every single Batman has has had a fucked up mouth where you can clearly tell who he is. Nope. Matter. What is going on? This noise is coming from. What's going you need on? To relax. What's happened? Did you see that? Did you notice that? No. He started fucking when they started making weird noise. That was the lawnmower, maybe. No, it was that. It was definitely that. It was. That's why he's laughing. Did you know, Mike? No. Did they you know, Mike? Drink for pounding Did the I know what? Did the you table? know that the trailer has been released for the new Batman movie? Someone and it tell looks me. Awesome. Who's the new Batman? Robert Pattinson from Twilight. Who, who is he? He's actually a very good actor who was famous for very shitty movies. But he is a very good actor. A, he was a vampire? Yes. Those movies suck, but he's a very good actor. He was in a lot of other uh, shit. I'm not sold already. He's done theater I'm work. I'm not a fan of vampire movies. Yeah, dude. Fuck all that. A movie looks so good. Really? Tom, have you seen the trailer? I I it looks awesome. Movie. Anyways, continue. The Joker was amazing, though, by the way. It was good. He brought, like, Tom stepped aside so he could spray himself with off. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. 
Which Joker did you like? Uh, of the three Jokers, Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, and um, um, Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Who is your favorite? Um, who, all right. My favorite was Jack Nicholson. Oh However, God, you couldn't be more wrong. But he wasn't the best. Joaquin was the best. However, oh my God, here's why Jack Nicholson wrong. was the you best. Couldn't be First more of all, wrong. he was more like a real person. Wait, wait, hit, just hand me out. And only maybe I might be biased because he had one of the best lines ever. He was getting ready. He was in the in the um in the mirror, and his wife came up to him. This it wasn't was before a wife, he was a Joker. Like, yeah, go ahead. And Jack she, Napier. Yeah, he was and called he was Jack getting Napier. dressed, and he was getting ready to go to a ball or something. And she said, she said, "You look handsome." And he just went and classic Jack Nicholson. He went, "I didn't ask." <laughs> <laughs> And Jack Nicholson actually says a story. He does this story. Um, he talks about it. I saw him on a talk show once. And he was actually um, on, on the elevator full of people, strangers. It was like a hotel, a famous hotel or whatever. He just happened to get on the elevator. And everybody's around him. And they're, uh, clearly, they were probably all saying, holy shit, that's Jack Nicholson. Right. And as, as the doors were shutting, he saw a dime on the floor. Stop the doors. <laughs> reached out, grabbed the dime, and then he walked back in, and the door shut, and in the elevator full of people who are all probably saying, holy shit, this is Jack Nicholson. He holds the dime up and goes with his Jack Nicholson voice, and the rich get richer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Jack Nicholson is a great, very cheap bastard is the moral great, of that story. It's a great story. And, well, um, look, that story was very long. It was okay, not great, and I couldn't disagree more. Uh, I can't believe that you didn't even you put both of those guys in front of Heath Ledger. In my opinion, Heath Ledger is the best Joker ever, well, and he has. Well, why. that's why we get along so well because we're like yin and yang. Opposites attract. We're track. totally exactly. So here's the thing: Jack Nicholson did do a great job, and obviously, uh, Phoenix was incredible. That movie was disturbing and nuts, and he was so disturbing and crazy. Yeah, Heath Ledger was crazy. But so badass, like he was a badass psycho crazy yeah. villain. Where uh, well, Phoenix was more Phoenix like you was feel more bad not, for like him. more of a like sad. It was actually yeah, sad. Yeah, he was sad. It's not. All right, so can I rephrase well, my question? My God, can Heath I rephrase Ledger. my question? Heath Ledger, you're like holy shit, that my guy's scary. My my answer was based on who I thought played the character, played the best part. Joaquin, I thought. Was amazing in his in great actor. His, yes. Yeah. So if you go, if I went with that, like yeah. But you're right. Heath Ledger's awesome. He wasn't scary like Heath. Heath Ledger was. was awesome. He was like, holy shit, he's gonna he's gonna just mess everybody up. Right. All right. Let's keep going. This is the, I feel like we should sure. call this the Batman no. show. No. We spent a half hour on Batman. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. As you know, um, I don't know if you show. know out there. One of your who would you say one of your favorite comedians of all time is? A Gallman or a, yeah. Gallman, yeah. Gary Gallman. I like him. See, I know who you are. I like him. Gary Gallman. I don't know if I'd is say also... he's my favorite anymore, though. Ooh, you moved yeah. on to a new favorite. Lately, I've really been into Patrice O'Neill. Yes, you have been. Yes, now, see, I that really was a like toss-up. I was, uh, I was worried you were going like to say him. Patrice. Patrice was absolutely phenomenal and I think died way too favorite. young. Way so, too young. But definitely, you two, both of those guys, if the you want to see funny. some. But Gary Gallman goes on these long rants. Like very intellectual rants. Yeah, he very would talk unique. about like anything, like in a race ahead for like a half hour. Right, and so he has one joke. One okay. of his, one of his, one of my favorite jokes he does is about the abbreviations of states. It's a great joke. It's a great joke. He talks about how the team gets together and they're gonna abbreviate the states because they had more than two letters before, and then recently, not long ago, was it was only not long. What's he doing? I, I don't know. I guess the lighting is oh, bad. Oh, see, that's what he gets paid money for. All right, so, so right. having said trivia? that, yeah, this is a trivia right, question. What is the postal abbreviation for Missouri? What is the postal abbreviation for Missouri? I'm going to guess MI. Okay. Now, out there, please Google Gary Goldman, YouTube him. Um, a state abbreviation joke. It's absolutely hysterical. No, because MI is M. Mis uh, go ahead. It's what is the postal abbreviation of Missouri? Is M O. Ah. Uh. 
And one last trivia question. I, I haven't got one right. None. And you Except better get right this because it's a music one. It's a music one and you are a karaoke superstar. All right? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. What city? What city is mentioned in the first line of the Bob Seger song, Turn the Page? What city is mentioned in the first line of Bob Seger's song, Turn the Page? Now, that song is my one of my favorite all-time songs. Bob Seger is the shit. He's a million hits. You know, I almost said Detroit, but you know why I think Detroit jumped in my head? Because I've heard Journey so much at karaoke. Born and raised in South Detroit. I think I was thinking Detroit because oh. of that. Try Turn to think. The it's page. the first line. Is anybody, is anybody guessing it? I don't know. Chicago? I don't know. East of Omaha? Ugh. East I'm hard. I, listen, I got everyone wrong. Everyone. You suck tonight. And I'm going to have to try to do the song part without my notes. Oof. I'm going to try, though. That's I'm going like... to try. Maybe we should try it now since we're in songs, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's, that's a great segue. Woo! If you don't, and maybe throw in a fat joke it's gonna on the be, side. I'll do my best. <laughs> Can't make any promises. We got drunk All last right. week and we ordered a pizza too. Oh, I know. I'm actually hungry right now <laughs> because I had salad. I can go for some cheese pizza. I had, no. Oh, no. Oh, we had this grand had argument <laughs> with, with him last he week. He has really weird pizza taste. This dude behind the camera. The guy who was late Swizz. to the show and screwed everything up. Swizz by Domino's, Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza. I think oh, nasty. How nasty Have you, is right, Domino's? Let me ask you this question. You ever see Tom at work? No. That, I bet he works for Domino's and we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's got like this crazy computer job that he can't explain. No, it's he's, too sophisticated. Yeah, he's really just he trying delivers to get Domino's. More, he's trying, just trying, trying to get more, more um, sales. Yeah, that's it. He works for Domino's. It didn't right. work. Alan Fung says you should order Chinese. Alan Fung said to all Chinese. I think he's a little food. biased. Alan Fung, <laughs> we know that that's that, that Chinese food. You guys don't eat that in China. You're just trying to kill us with that they MSG. Probably eat American food in China. Yeah, they China. probably have American restaurants, like you know. No, they just. Hey, eat you like, want to go out for American? They eat like they eat like they. Eat what like, do you feel like tonight? Oh, let's order some American. <laughs> they eat no. They're healthy. They eat like just fresh fish and that's white rice. That's why they rice. live forever. Yeah, they eat white rice. Alan's like 75 years old. He yeah, doesn't even look. Because he wakes up every day and does Tai Chi. That's why. <laughs> All they eat is salmon and like white rice. They don't eat the, they don't eat MSG. They gave us MSG to kill us. That's why they that's, that's their so way. Wait, wait. Now Alan Alan posted the other day his wife, um Barbara Fenton Fong, who's absolutely amazing person. You know them, right? Yes, I do. But what I didn't know was She's a COVID survivor. Yeah, she is a COVID. You knew that. That's right. That's right. If that was one of the trivia questions, I would have got it. <laughs> all my knowledge is about the Fung family. That's all I focus on. Do you want a beer? Uh, or are you still drinking your Truly? I'm one. still drinking my okay. Truly. Now, but did you know, Brad, that Alan Fung, he married up. Everybody knows that. There's yeah, no way. They, didn't we there's all, no Mike? way. If he, was, if he wasn't mayor, there's no way Barbara Fung goes for him. Yeah, what's he going to do when his term's up? What is he going to do to impress her? Exactly. He's still got the nunchuck skills, though. Yeah, he's still got the nunchuck skills. She's just going to walk around the house like, I know I'm not mayor anymore, but check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, alright, I'll stick around. Oh my god, my head's spinning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want to tell you right now, this is a big day for me. Oh, I'm a comedian, you might know that. I've never made Mike laugh that in my like, entire life. I'm sorry, honey, but I don't have a job. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> I honestly could say I've never made Mike laugh that. Oh my God! Oh, all right. So, anyways, Barbara, <laughs> who's absolutely amazing person, and um, she actually just got me. her second, not one, yeah, second master's degree. She has two master's degrees. And he has. And how many do you have? Two samurai swords. I have none. <laughs> do, do you want one of these? I'll take one. Uh, you, How many master's degrees do you have? I have zero. I do have a bachelor's degree. Did you know that, Mike? I didn't know. I, 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 if I was to guess, I would have said associate. No, you would say wrong. 
I have a bachelor's degree. Guess how many bachelor's degrees I have? I have a bachelor's degree in film studies, which obviously worked out for me. I got obviously. a high school diploma <laughs> from With Central so, High so School. So you're telling me Brad's the most educated person of the three of I am the most educated person, as you can tell, of as I'm struggling to open a beer bottle for the last 15 minutes. Because I only have an associate's degree. Oh yeah, well, God. that's why you work at Domino's, Tom. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, but but actually, um, yeah, you know, we're all looking for like the the power has shifted in the Fung House. Right. The power has shifted. Bob what are, what are her degrees in? I, um, I can't remember. She is in the hospital field, but she does have two master's degrees. Alan, if you can put her master's degrees qualifications up on the board there, so everybody can yeah. see how proud we are of her. And how much better so, she is. So than congratulations, you. Barbara, on your second master's degree. And to that, uh, we will get drunk. <laughs> oh, my God. That was hysterical. Where were you? Oh, oh, there goes, there the, goes light. the light. Oh, everybody. Right. Wave, wave. Get that. It's a sensor light. <laughs> I have a degree in film. I just said, and I'm using a sensor light to light a show. That shows you what Rhode Island College does. That's where all that money went, to this pathetic show. This is bad. Here you go. Is that better? Does it look okay? That probably looks I'm bad. I'm sure it looks Does fine. Does that look okay? I don't even remember. Where, where are we? Are we, are we done with trivia? No. Yeah, we're done oh, with trivia. Oh, we're songs. We're on songs. All right. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Number one. Everybody with a kung fu we're fighting. fighting. <laughs> I don't know who sings that. I should have made that the song. You should have made that I don't that know who song. sings that. So, uh, one hit one, though, I believe. I'm trying. Once again, I'm trying to do this from memory because uh, Tom had to use my phone to record because... He screwed up everything. This is like a campfire. Yeah, I feel like this must look like you're watching the Blair Witch Kumbaya. Project or something. Oh, speaking of which. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of ketchup. Do you oh. want me to get my film light? Do you no, want... No, it's fine, it's fine. No. Oh, it's back! It'll oh, back! Go, you back, can probably people. shut that light off now, I bet. <laughs> no, no, I'm okay. about to leave it. All right, so, number I test, one. I, oh, good, I don't know about you, but um, Monday, I went and got tested for COVID. I told you that. Right. And I'm happy to announce that I, I tested positive, but I'm not feeling any symptoms. <laughs> I was not about to clap that you were going to say you were negative, and then and then I, it took me, I, I clapped three times and realized, oh, he said positive. <laughs> Great. Then you're like, oh, shit. Now I'm going to die, and uh, he's going to feel uh, fine. I, I am negative, and my That's whole family, exciting. we all got tested, and we are negative. So I'll we tell you what. We tested out of precaution. I, would, I didn't want to do the test because I... I'm a big believer in a lot of false and positives going out there. I didn't want that to be a crimping yeah. into everything. You know what I mean? You, didn't want to, you don't have to cancel the Mike and Brad show is basically what you're trying exactly. to say. You know what? It would have been awful, awful, and my wife would have been so mad, but it really would have been right. funny if you tested positive and still came and told me on air that you're positive. <laughs> that would be so fucked up, seen your but eyes. hilarious. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Symptoms. That would have so been okay. so funny. <laughs> I already told my wife, I said, look, not for nothing, if I test positive, I'm not telling anybody. <laughs> I'm going to do this show Sunday. Mike I don't care if everybody dies. All over the place. <laughs> but you would think if, like, you and your household tested positive, right, your whole family would probably have it. Right. right. Well, what happened was one of my daughters, one of my daughters was at a party and wanted somebody. A so party was... of less than 15 people. All right, Mike, stop saying stuff that's going to incriminate us and let's get to songs. Right, As you know, Mike Murray was grew up deaf and wasn't really into music, so we're going to test his knowledge of songs without me having my lyrics and my notes. I'm going to try to go based on memory, and so this is going to be a shit show. Number one, I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain. The only thing that's real. What have I become? Alright, I'm gonna guess. My sweetest just, friend. I'm just gonna guess. It was horrible, Everyone first of all. <laughs> and it probably sounds nothing like goes that. Away <laughs> I'm gonna guess. In the end. I'm guess, gonna guess it's a Sinatra song. Am I right? Mm -hmm. No. No. Oh, so. It was Hurt by Johnny Cash. I like Johnny Cash. It's a great song. Now, he didn't write the song. It was a cover of Nine Inch Nails' Trent Reznor. Wait, wait, wait. But wait, 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 I like John. John Johnny Cash doing a cover of Nine Inch Nails? Correct. Yes. Yes. So it was how one did of his... Nine Inch Nails sing it? It's... I don't know how to explain it. 
I like his, not only do I like his version better, if you watch the music video for Hurt. It's called Hurt. I know you enough to know. You will cry. You will cry. All right, I'll watch it. It's almost impossible to watch that music video and not cry. I will watch it. Watch it and try not to cry. I'm a really, you will cry. As I'm getting older, I'm getting more cry. emotional yeah. about shit. You will cry watching that video. It's and, intense. Uh, yeah. All right. So, go ahead. Next song. Oh, my God. Um, how does it go? Hold on. Um, for another chance. I just want to know why. There's no easy way out. Bah, bah. There's no shortcut home. Why did my light just shut off? Tom, pay attention. Is it still recording? What happened? Tom's on Tinder back there. But why did the light go off? Sorry, what's Is it on? Are we on? There's no easy way out. <laughs> bam, bam. There's no shortcut home. You were kind of mean to Tom there. There's no easy way out. <laughs> give it in, give it in, can't Tom's be wrong. Show. Oh, man. Um, you definitely know this song. Yeah, I'm going to go with... There's um, no easy way out. I'm going to go with Guns N' oh, Roses. All right, let me give you a, uh, a, a hint. It's from a movie that you've seen. Oof. I'm going to uh, go with Beverly Hills Cop. God, man. Two. It's no easy Beverly, way out. Beverly's like it's a housewife. <laughs> Several women named Beverly's, Beverly live there. Beverly's Hill Cop. Um, no easy way out. It's from Rocky IV. Ooh. The famous scene where he's driving the Ferrari after Apollo dies and he's oh, all sad. Oh, no, that's sad. And he's sad. driving. Oh, so I see the theme here. The theme is sad song. Yeah, you picked up on the theme. You got the songs wrong, but you got the theme. All right, got one more. I know I had, but you're not going to know that one. I, I know another one Why don't in you my head. Sing your favorite song that's not a rap, and let's see if I get it. Favorite song that's not a rap. I'd have to think about that. I don't have time. We don't have time to make no, them we watch have, me think. We have just time enough to do Oh, my advice. God, we're almost time. We're still going to do, yeah, we still got a lot more to do. That's right, forget the other songs. Yeah, Those got, were a couple sad songs. I had some more. I don't remember them. Go ahead, you're, you're up. Great news, everybody. Great news. We talked about our sold out show Sunday. Right. With a lot of people coming to the show. Um, John Allen will be at the show. Right. And he said he's going to be bringing gifts from Arizona for us. Right. And um, John Allen is going to be at the show. He's coming. He's, he's going to be at the show. You're going, right? Practice. Are you going? Yeah. You're coming, right? Yeah. You're going. We, I think it's we should. Saturday, right? I think you should Sunday. interview him uh, for beverages of bad. That would be cool. All right, so, He'll bring us a cactus. Yeah. <laughs> so John Allen will be at the show. And it's also John Allen's third anniversary today. Happy anniversary. Happy to anniversary, you. John. And John that sent guy, me in. guy saved his marriage. Right, John, right. Did John, he give us more advice questions? <laughs> yeah, he's sending an advice question. Okay. And he's asking Mike and Brad if he can help him with this problem. Okay. So he's in the third year of his marriage and everything. He's always driving all the time. He drives, picks her up and everything and everything because he feels like that's what the guy should do. Apparently, he's fed up with that. He he's had enough anymore. of that. He feels three years is way too much. He wants to shift the, shift the power mm-hmm. and have her drive. You realize, you realize why. So it's... How, what can he, how can he get her to drive him around instead of him driving her around? You do realize the reason they don't want to drive is because they're driving a camper. <laughs> That's not easy of an Uber, that thing, when you drive they're driving around. Like, they're driving like a Breaking Bad camper. Yeah, because like. doesn't he live in one? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Why do I have in my head that they live in a camper in the <laughs> desert of Arizona? His I'm profile convinced picture, of it. Probably. I'm convinced of when that. When you look at his profile picture, you're saying, that guy's dry, he's living in a camper. I wouldn't want to drive actually, that thing I either. actually talked. I actually asked him point blank. I said, dude, what? why are you here? Why are you here for the next months or whatever? The Mike Apparently, and Brad his show. wife, his wife is a, a traveling nurse. Yeah, you saw, you said that last yeah. week. So my answer to you, uh, John, how do is you get her put, to drive? Put bananas in your tailpipe, like <laughs> Axel Foley and the before mentioned Beverly Hills Cop. That way, when you go to start, you kind of like, oh, it's not working right. We're gonna have to take your car. You're gonna have to try. <laughs> now, if you only have one car. You're going to have to break one of your hands so that you're like, you know, it's not safe. I got to try it. Just take yeah. a hammer, just smash your hand. Hopefully you have two cars. If you have a stick shift, 
bust the hand yeah, if you shift the right. it. Yeah, Yes. That's because my... Do you have a take on this? I would just say, a hey, bitch, you need to start driving the car. That's another option. <laughs> a little bit more on the nose. <laughs> I'm like, look, I've gone far enough. All right, look, you know, the honeymoon stage is over. You need to start driving me around. I promised somebody I would mention this. So you can't go to the show this week. It's sold out. I did. I do want to say I am doing a show at a skew in Providence on September 10th. It's a Thursday. It's only ten dollars. Please inbox me for ticket That's information. Crazy. It's going to be a fun show. Very funny, uh, fun show. And uh, it's Rory's a great parking right across Holston. from there. It's, it's it's some great a great nice place Can you to be. A comedy show that's not funny. It's gonna like, be great. There's plenty of people oh, leaving. Oh, show? that's what. But no, come. It's gonna be it's gonna be really fun. I, Contact I, me for the fall. It's fun. Thursday, September 10th. Wait, but wait, I, wait, I wait wanna... no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I posted something today. Uh -oh. Um, there's no way he's probably watching it right now. Um, but I posted this the other day. Send me your things and questions and somebody um put. Hold on, I'm gonna bring it right up here. Mike Kutrovis, does that ring a bell? Yeah, I've heard of him a few times. Mike Kutrovis. I believe he performs exclusively at pizza restaurants and plazas in yes. New Hampshire. He said, here's my question. He said, here's my question. Why aren't you guys funny yet? Right. Well, well he is the expert of funny. Yo, he's killing it up in New Hampshire, performing for three people, eating uh, pepperoni pizza. We do not. We do not. Outside allow of hate Depot. speech on our wall or the Mike and Brad show. So, Mike, you get in line. I feel we're hysterical. Well, I mean, the fact that what he's watching. What did I watching, laugh about earlier? Oh, about Al Fung. The fact, <laughs> was hysterical. the fact that he's watching shows me that if he doesn't think we're funny, he's obviously watching. Now, why is he watching for we're, tips? Because we're handsome. He's watching for tips. He's going to steal our jokes. He's going to do a show. He's going to do all bits about nunchucks next week. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do, like, uh, singing Bob Seger songs. Right. From, I already forgot the city, Oklahoma? Omaha. Omaha. See, I, didn't, I, I had a blast tonight. I really did. Dude, we can't end yet. Because last week we didn't do this. We have to do, oh, two things we have to do. Mike says he has superhuman senses because he's deaf. <laughs> and there's a reason for this. This is going to seem weird, but I promise there's a reason for this, which I'll explain after we do it. I want you to smell three articles of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to tell right me. away, right away, I don't trust this. I do not trust this Mike at all. Mike says he has Jeez. superhuman. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. one of them underwears. No, it's it's a shirt. They're all shirts. All right. There's a reason for this. I'll explain after. I'm so, even if we go over time, I don't care. We're doing this. Mike says he has superhuman. Too bad nobody's senses. watching this spot. We're gonna have to put yeah. this clip on later. Yeah. Well, no one's watching because Tom blew the beginning be of the show. No but anyway. All right. The NBA tonight, so all right. That. That's true. All right. Go ahead. You ready? I'm going to smell three articles of clothing. One at a time. What's the question, though? I'll tell you at the end. Okay, give me. So the que just just tell me right. anything. Right, any, whatever comes to your head when you smell it. Oh, each one I'm going to give you yes. an analysis? Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> anything? Nothing. With your superhuman smell, nothing. I could smell a little bit of cologne or, or whatever. Okay. Very little. Very, very little. Okay. That's one. <laughs> Don't try this at home, folks. And I, I want you to know, at home, I hope if you're watching, I hope you're enjoying because this is literally the only time we're doing the smelling segment. This is a once-in-a-lifetime. John, John Allen said, this is how you get pink eye. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah, well, I'll tell you that afterwards. Article 2, my, one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> Mike had made for me. I requested it. I really wanted a 2019 shirt because that was a good year. Article 2. Go ahead. I smell the same thing as the other one. Elaborate. I'm going to say one shirt. <laughs> what do you mean one? You could still smell the cologne on it. If you wash that, it might not smell as much. Okay. Let's see if I can smell Now, something. this one is probably the most important. So, clear your palate. Or what, what do you call it? Nose palate? Get ready. This one's really important. <laughs> Mike had this made for my birthday. It meant a lot to me. Yes. And can she? Can you important. see that? Can you show the people what it is? Now, now for those of you who don't know, those are the Beastie Boys. That's their, their names. And it's I a designed, really cool shirt. I designed the shirt. I had Vinny put it together. I said, here's what I want, and I gave that to you for your birthday. Here is the third and final one, and after he smells it and gives this analysis, I will explain 
what the meaning of these three shirts smel being smelt was. And smell the whole thing. Give it all a whirl. I smell Alan Fung. No, no, ser seriously, smell it. I can't. I don't. I don't know. I can't. Nothing. I can smell cologne. I can smell a little bit of cologne on all of them. All right. I'm not a drug sniffing dog. But do they all smell similar? Yes. They all very. All right. Oh, I'm, I see where this is going. Common probably wore one of them, like as a. No, 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 no. All I, right. I, I, think I they, used to believe in Mike's heightened senses. I, <laughs> I used to believe. He had me convinced with the lip reading and everything. This changed all that. <laughs> Here is the reason. And before you get mad at me, I almost didn't do this because I felt bad. I don't want you to get mad at me. I want to tell you right off the bat, those shirts were just washed and dried. They just came out okay. of the wash. Let me lead with that so you don't punch me in the face. Here's what happened. <laughs> we had a pile of clothes downstairs by the washing machine where our dirty laundry mm -hmm. always goes. There's no mildew smell on any of those. I'm sorry. That's I not where I was going with that. All right. One of our cats. I don't smoke cat piss either. Peed on the fucking clothes. I do not smoke cat piss. And... I can't believe you were trying to we, make yes. me smell cat That's cat why cat. I led with we just <laughs> washed them. I washed those shirts twice today. Yeah, I do not smell. So so happily, you should be happy. Well. Because if I can't smell we cat threw piss away. On, we threw away some of the other clothes because we had washed and it would not come out. But can you and smell cat piss on them? We were going to throw. Yes, particularly. That's why I had this shirt last. This one is the hottest to get the smell out. I think I did a good job getting the smell out of the other two. That, I can still smell it. I'm sorry. And I don't want to throw it away. Tom, I'm smell sorry. It. You can't smell cat piss on that. I'm sorry. Can you sorry. smell cat piss? No. It smells like your laundry. It smells like cologne. It doesn't smell like my laundry. It smells like Yeah. I like how Tom just says it smells like your laundry. Like he smells my laundry every day. <laughs> <laughs> how would he know what my laundry smells someone like? Someone's down cellar. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what your laundry smells like. Maybe it was him who pissed <laughs> on the laundry. I think somebody's down cellar. Tom peed on the laundry. Lawn. Brad, oh, shit. Very close. Does it smell bad to you? No. no. You can't smell nothing. But you know what? I feel like that's... What do they call I that? I can smell it. Like, I can smell it. it's stuck in your head. It's like... It's, you, yeah, um, he... I can smell it. No. On this one. The other ones, it, I don't a smell psychological it. effect. Right, look. Yes, yes, yes. So, it's ladies and gentlemen, effect. that um, concludes like the pee cat pee segment of the show. You should be happy. I am, because I didn't want to... I told Colin, I can't throw those shirts away. You can't. They don't... They do not... I, I would have said just like this. It smells like cat piss. I swear. All right, we gotta we gotta that end. This is a very strong. Smell we gotta too. end that because is... I have had to piss for twenty minutes. And I don't want to pee on those shirts and make it worse. So <laughs> thank you for tuning into the Mike I and Brad show, everybody. I had a good time. Show, See you next week. Go bye -bye. Bru Go See Bruins. See you Sunday. Go Bruins.